I guess the one who likes this one the most. You're the one that likes this one. Why? You don't want to get closer with any everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you. I just realized, if I started writing poems for the others, it wouldn't have mattered. This would have happened either way. Sayori? N no. Joseph. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori? I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand your feelings right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Joseph. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to say that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori! Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. See, it's at this point I'm realizing I'm starting to get to that point. Like, I probably have said that already a few times before, but this is when you start to, like, feel and stuff in this game. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Or why are you emo- Oh my god, I read that as her voice. I should just- I should do that now for my voice and her voice, just switch them for this conversation. Is that more of a compliment to me? Eh? Uh? No, gross! It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Slacking. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah. Gah. Sorry. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Ow. Oh. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> I, can, I have to read this in my voice as well. Even though it doesn't matter, it's like reading Monica's one. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place. A beach for us to go to. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A, light, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought had... In a way you thought had... What the f... Oh my god, wait, no, this isn't written right. In a way you thought had left you long ago. Is that meant to be your thought? In a way, your thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set, your free, set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought your thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic that have us both write about it or whatever. Ah, I see. I don't really have much to contribute here, since I didn't really actually read Yuri's poem. 
Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about... Wait. Oh yeah, I meant to be doing my voice. Make us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that every once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Oh, and that's it. Stagnating air is common for shouting that something terrible is about to happen. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my relation. Jesus Christ, I'm making it seem like we're related. First, not related, um, relationship. Oh. <clears throat> As for you, Yuri. Yuri, you can... Uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I'm useless. No, you're not awkward. Calm down. Atmosphere. Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! That just leaves you, Joseph. The one who is... The one who is truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Uh, sex when? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. In the end, I think it's up to Joseph to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. <laughs> you see, the thing is, even if I choose Sayori and uh, Monica, they'll make excuses for Monica. They'll say Sayori's helping Monica. And can we just acknowledge how creepy this looks? Like, just looking at Monica's eyes just piercing through. You know what? Fuck it. No, I will go with Natsuki because fucking Yuri just avoids me. Alright, I'm sorry. Boom. You know, bro, I'm kind of into that lolly stuff. That's definitely going to be taken out of context. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Oh, that... Oh, man, that actually makes me sad now. And Tuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's, sh or Yuri's shoulder. I keep saying... Like, say Yuri's just name rolls off the tongue. Um, where do you think you're going? Uh, we still need to figure out pl our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home... Yeah, gotten home and realized that you didn't have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez. Good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Quite literally. That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to, to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pl uh, pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But only then, I won't be able to take it off my mind. I seriously can't wait. Thank you guys for watching what you've seen so far, whether this be episode 4, 5 or beyond. Uh, make sure if you want to con see the series full, which eventually will be out full on Wednesdays, hopefully. Uh, make sure to smash that like button or smash the dislike button if you didn't like it. Like, uh, maybe leave a comment on what you think. You know, maybe a bit of advice on the voices, maybe on the way I'm editing the series. You know, all that sort of jazz. Uh, subscribe if you want. And, uh, of course, hit the bell if you do so desire. And I will see you guys uh, in the next episode, I guess, or in another video on a Saturday. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, that was an hour and five minutes of footage. Jesus Christ. Uh, save.
Oh, I forgot.